Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Chapter, you'll learn how to find photos in the library module. In the library module, the library filter bar at the top of the grid provides three modes to filter photos by text, by attribute, and by metadata. You can use one mode at a time or you can combine more than one mode to filter results in more complex ways. The text filter lets you search any indexed metadata text field. This means that you can search by file name, caption, keywords, and EXIF and IPTC metadata. The attribute filter lets you filter photos in the grid by star ratings, color labels, flag status, edit status, and copies. The metadata filter mode provides up to eight columns of metadata criteria that you can use to filter photos. The three modes appear at the top of the library filter bar along with the word none. To show the options for a filter mode, simply click its name in the library filter bar. Note that a mode label appears white in the library filter bar when its options are open and available. When working with the metadata filter mode, you can expand the library filter bar to view more options if needed. Simply hover your cursor on the lower edge of the library filter bar. When the cursor changes into a double pointed arrow, you can then click and drag to resize the library filter bar. You can also open one mode at a time, or you can open two or even three filter modes. To open the first filter mode, simply click its name in the library filter bar. To open a second or third mode without closing the previous mode, press and hold down the shift key on your keyboard while clicking to open a second or third mode. When more than one filter mode is active, you can close any of them by simply clicking on the mode name in the library filter bar. To turn off and hide all filter modes, you can simply click None in the library filter bar. The text filter lets you search your catalog or selected photos using a text search field. To use the text filter, display the library module and then click to select a source from the catalog panel, the folders panel, or the collections panel. Your selection then appears in the grid in the film strip. Next, click Text in the Library Filter Bar. The Library Filter Bar expands to display two drop-down menus and a search field. You use these to specify the search criteria. The first drop-down provides a variety of options. If you choose any searchable field from the drop-down, the search will include searchable metadata caption, file path, virtual copy name, keywords, custom metadata, and collection names. If you choose file name, copy name, title, caption, or keywords. The search will include each of these related metadata fields. If you choose searchable metadata, the search will include searchable IPT, searchable EXIF, and titles. If you choose searchable EXIF, the search will include make, model, serial number, and software. If you choose searchable IPTC, the search will include a variety of information like creator, job title, address, headline, country code, workflow, and more. If you choose any searchable plugin field, the search will include searchable metadata fields created by third-party plugins. To the right of that drop-down menu, the next drop-down menu lets you specify a search rule. If you choose Contains, the search will include the specified text you enter, including partial words. For example, if your search term is 4 and you choose the Contains option, search results will include the word 14. If you choose Contains All, the search will include text that contains all specified search terms. This option is helpful if you're searching for more than one term. For example, if your search terms are 4 and blue, the search results will include a photo with 14 and bluebells. If you choose Contains Word, the search will include all specified search terms that appear as whole words. For example, if you choose Contains Words and your search term is 4, then the word 14 will not be included in search results. If you choose Doesn't Contain, the search will include text that doesn't include the specified search term. In other words, if your search term is 4, neither the word 14 nor the word 4 would be included in the search results. If you choose Starts With, the search will include text that begins with the specified search term. Similarly, if you choose Ends With, the search will include text that ends with the search term. To the right, you'll see the Enter Search Text Here text field. You can type the text for which you want to search into this text field. To separate multiple search terms, add spaces between the terms. To exclude a word from search results, add an exclamation point immediately before the word. To apply the starts with rule to a word, simply add a plus sign to the beginning of the word. To apply the ends with rule to a word, add a plus sign to the end of the word. As you type into the text field, Lightroom Classic CC displays photos that match your search terms and rules. 
You can refine your search further by applying an attribute or metadata filter. Whenever you use two or more filters during one search, Lightroom Classic CC displays photos that match all the specified criteria from each filter. To find photos using the attribute filter, display a source from the catalog panel, folders panel, or collections panel in the library module grid view. Then click attribute in the library filter bar. The bar expands to display additional options. Choose one or more options from the expanded library filter bar. The more options you choose, the more refined your search results will be. For example, you could click the blue label and Lightroom Classic CC will display all photos with a blue label from your selected source. If you also click to select flagged photos, Lightroom Classic CC will display all photos with both a blue label and a flag. Again, you can refine your search even more by applying a text or metadata filter at the same time. When two or more filters are active, Lightroom only displays photos that match all active search criteria. For example, you could use the text filter to specify the word ocean, while also using the attributes filter to specify five-star photos. Lightroom Classic CC would then display only photos containing the word ocean that were also tagged with five stars. To find photos using the metadata filter, display a source from the catalog panel, folders panel, or collections panel. Then click the metadata command in the library filter bar. The filter bar expands to display column options. You can then click to select a metadata category header from the left column heading and then use the column options to refine the choice. For example, if you click the leftmost column heading and then choose edit, you can then choose edited or unedited from the menu that appears. Lightroom Classic CC then displays the number of photos from your source that match the criteria next to each menu entry. In the next column, you can then click its column header to choose yet another metadata category and use the column menu that appears to refine the criteria for that category. You can choose as many metadata categories as you like. You can click the icon at the far right end of each column heading to remove the column or add an additional column. As you refine your search, Lightroom Classic CC displays photos containing your specified metadata in the grid view and the film strip. You can also refine your search further by applying a text or attribute filter while the metadata filter is active. To deactivate all filters, you can simply click None in the library filter bar. Lightroom Classic CC then displays all the photos in the selected source. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.